Hello and welcome to this answer explanation video. This video will take you through the answers to the finding 10 more and 10 less worksheet and we'll talk you through some of the tricky bits. Okay, this video is going to take you through the answers for the 10 more and 10 less worksheet. To help, I've drawn our number line with our jumps of 10 on. Remember, when we add 10, the ones number stays the same. It's just the tens digit that changes. So for example, if I had 43, 10 more would be 53 or 10 less would be 33. The ones digit isn't changing. It's just the tens that we're looking at today. Okay, the first question then. What is 10 less? than the number below. Let's count up our number. It's been shown in base 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The number at the moment is 66, but I want to work out 10 less. So we know that the 6 will stay the same. So 10 less would be 56, but we can just check that by crossing out one of the 10s, because remember, when we do 10 less, we take 10 away. 10, 20, 30, 40, 56. 10 less is 56. We've got a number line and it says, what is the missing number? So we've got 25, 35, 45, something, 65, 75, 85. Now remember the ones digit has stayed the same each time. It's got five ones in it every single time. It's just the tens digit that's going up. Two for 20, three for 30, four for 40. So we need to figure out 10 more than 45. 10 more than 40 is 50, so our next number must be 55. Okay, we've got another question. The same rule applies here. Remember, the ones digit always stays the same. If it's more, we add 10. If it's less, we take 10 away. So we've got 48. So we need to work out 10 more. 10 more than 40 is 50. The ones stay the same, so it's 58. 56, 10 less. 10 less than 50 is 40, and the ones digit stays the same, 46, 65, 10 less, so 10 less than 65, 10 less than 60 is 50, and the ones digit stays the same, so it's 55, and then 81, 10 more than 81, 10 more than 80 is 90, and the ones digit stays the same, so it's 91. Okay, the next question, question number four. What numbers are missing from the grid? So if you notice, we've got the columns. This is part of 100 square. Starts at 33, okay, ends at 67. But the columns show how each number goes up in 10 each time. The ones digit staying the same, but the tens is increasing by one 10 each time. Three, four, five, six, 33, 43, 53, 63. And it's the same for every number. We need to finish our grid. So we've got 36. So we know that the six digit is always going to stay the same, but we're going to go up in tens. So 36, 46, 56, 66. And we've completed our grid. Our next question says, is Solomon correct? Explain your answer. And he says that he, his tower is 52 centimetres tall. If I make it 10 centimetres taller, it will be 63 centimetres tall. He's making it 10 centimetres taller, which means he's adding 10. He's finding out 10 more than the number. Remember, the ones do not change. 10 more than 50 is 60, and the ones digit doesn't change, 62. He said that his answer will be 63. But that's not correct. He's added his 10, but his ones digit has changed. He's actually added 11 in total. His answer should be 62. Okay, the next question. Jacob has created a sequence of numbers. Is he correct? Explain your answer. So it's being created with place value counters. Okay, the numbers 52, 32, 22, 12 are getting smaller. So it's counting backwards in tens each time 10 less has been found than the number before. But let's have a look because I've spotted something that's not quite right. He's missed out a number. We've got 52. 10 less than 50 is 40. So it would be 42, but 42 isn't here. Then we've got 32, then 22, and then 12. So a 10 has been removed each time here, but he's missed out a number. He needs to have 42. I draw it on so we can see. And remember, 
the ones digit stays the same each time. So it's always got the same amount of ones, but it's a 10 that's been removed. So here he has five tens, then four tens, then three, then two, then one. So he's missed out this number. So his sequence is not correct because he needs to put in 42 like I've done there. Each child has chosen a number. Write each child's number in the table below. So we've got Kerry, Tom and Alice, and then I've got the numbers. There's only three spaces for three numbers and I've got four number cards. That means I won't be using them all. Okay, so let's start with Kerry. 10 more than 76. 10 more, we are adding 10. Let me have a look at my number line. 70, 10 more is 80, and the ones digit stays the same. So I'd be having 86, which is there. Tom, 10 less than 22, we're going to be taking 10 away. Have a look at our number line, 20, take away 10, 10, and two more for our two ones would be 12, which we have there, so I'll cross it out. Now for Alice, 10 more than 57, so we're adding 10, so let's find 50, 60, and the ones digit stays the same, 67, which is here, we've not used 21. That was a video on the answers for finding 10 more and 10 less worksheet from Classroom Secrets. If you want to watch a video tutorial linked to this skill, visit kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk. For further resources linked to this learning, visit classroomsecrets.co.uk.